if the Conservative Party want to win another majority, win another election, they need to listen very closely to what Home Secretary Soella Braveman has been saying, because I think she is absolutely spot on in some of her interventions already as Home Secretary. Uh, we've seen it on policing, for instance. And I think she's very much in tune with not just Conservative voters, but the country at large. In a wide-ranging interview for The Sun on Sunday, she's addressed a wide range of issues, including immigration, that I think show, again, she's very in tune with public opinion and what Tory voters want to see a Conservative government deliver. She's talked about a crackdown on the illegal migration across the Channel, uh, pledging to cut immigration numbers. Of course, we've seen at uh, Liz Truss, apparently, her government toy with increasing levels of immigration, which just seems insane to me. And she's spoken in this interview about blocks at the moment to deporting some dangerous uh, foreign criminals, saying, I can't emphasise enough about these problems plaguing the system, saying stopping the legitimate removal from our country of serious criminals, putting the safety of British people at risk and undermining the generosity of the British people. She says it's making a mockery of our country and our sovereignty and this has to stop. When it comes to legal migration, as I repeatedly highlighted, it wasn't that long ago that Tory leaders like David Cameron and Theresa May were pledging to bring legal net migration down to the tens of thousands, something I think is enormously sensible. So Ella Braveman in this Sun interview saying, what we've got is too many low skilled workers coming into this country. So we've also got a very high number of students coming to this country and we've got a really high number of dependents. So students are coming on their student visa, but they're bringing in family members who can piggyback onto their student visa, saying those people are coming here, they're not necessarily working, or they're working in low skilled jobs and they're not contributing to growing our economy. So we want people with high skills, we want people with tech qualifications. What we don't want is a very steady stream of cheap foreign labour. Braveman talking about illegal migration and saying there's a crisis on the channel, it's been going on for far too long. So there's been huge attempts to try and stop the problem and she feels at a stage now where we need to take dramatic action, admitting the problem has gone out of control and talking about the European Convention on human rights and talking about the Rwanda policy being a block basically because of the interventionist politicised court in Strasbourg. So we really need to review and look at our relationship with Strasbourg. I would suggest Truss's government need to stop looking at things and actually deliver radical political change. And I know that for many of you was the frustration with the Boris Johnson government. Lots of what was said sounded good, but very little happened. I would suggest if Suella Braveman as Home Secretary is allowed to lead a charge on reducing levels of legal net migration and leaving the ECHR to stop illegal migration, that would go a huge way to winning back Brexiteer support for the Tories. And let's just remind ourselves, and I know I've played this clip a few times, let's just remind ourselves during the leadership campaign what Suella Braveman, the now Home Secretary, said about leaving the ECHR as being necessary to stop illegal migration. Will Liz Truss allow her now to get on with that? Both my experience as a barrister specialising in immigration law, defending the Home Office before I was an MP, and as the Attorney General, have led me to the conclusion that if we are serious about completing the Brexit promises, if we are serious about taking back control of our borders, then there is no alternative but for the UK to leave the European Convention on Human Rights and permanently exclude the jurisdiction of the European Court of Human Rights. 